Today on RVN World News, we examine the growing mutant menace. It's a concern of worldwide proportions. This scene took place in Russia two weeks ago as a young mutant stood in defiance of the military. And in the Far East, the authorities attempted to quell an uprising at a mutant camp. But they had little success. We interrupt this newscast with a breaking story. A young woman named Allison Kressmere was identified as a mutant. The Genetic Research and Security Organization is now responding to that report. But a mob has formed and tempers are flaring. Help! Somebody help me! Mom! Mom! I'm not a mutant! I swear I'm not! Mom! Grab the girl and get out of here! Mind if I cut in? Stop! Stop! Stop fighting! Stop it right now! Stop! Am I playing too rough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Time you freaks learn to listen. Ready for a scrap. Who's next?
You're going down! I can't lift this. Hey, Wolverine. What are you waiting for? Come on! What's going on here? <laughs> You're finished, Mystique. Give up! Fool! You think I came here alone? You are destined to lose, X-Men! Say good night, Bob. Over X Men. Game's over, X-Men! Run while you got the chance. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. The 
Game's over, X-Men! Guess you didn't want a piece of me. Stand in my way. over X-Men! No! This cannot be! Wolverine. Someday, some way, I'll see you die. You're done, darling, and I ain't even broken a sweat. Where's Blob taking the kid? She's ours now, Wolverine. You'll never see her again. We'll get her back, Mystique. Even if we have to cut down each and every one of you Brotherhood psychos. What's so special about her? The Crestmere child has her uses. You always got some plan brewing, don't you, Mystique? It's time to save Allison. You'll never catch Blob! <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, Wolverine. I will annihilate you! Don't take another step closer, Blob. Try and stop me, Cream Puff! You X-Men are such tiny, frail things. Combo! 
You ain't gonna win this fight if you keep getting knocked down! <laughs> I thought you X-Men were supposed to be good fighters. All this fighting is making me hungry. Now this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me! You ain't gonna win this fight if you keep getting knocked down! <laughs> Combo! Now this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me! Maybe you should run away! I thought you X-Men were supposed to be good fighters! Poor new X-Men, fall down, go BOOM! Help! I can't hold out much longer! Combo! Good work, guys. Now get Alice into the X-Jet. I'll meet you there. Got it. I'm on it. Got it. You are destined to lose, X-Men! I'll see you again, X-Men! Now I'm really ready for a scrap! The game's over, X-Men! Come! 
Oh, sweet dreams, sucker. The game's over, X-Men! Guess you didn't want a piece of me. You are destined to lose, X-Men! Combo! Combo! No! This cannot be! You X-Men are pathetic! I will annihilate you! Combo! I'll see you again, X-Men! Why is all this happening to me? Allison, it's okay. Things were fine until last week. I got mad at my little brother and 
Suddenly, the ground started to shake. I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to admit it. Your powers are becoming active, which... Things have only gotten worse. That lava in the street? I made it happen. I'm becoming a mutant. There's nothing wrong with... And that woman? She was gonna make me join something called the Brotherhood. She could come after me again. Any time! Allison, you couldn't be in safer hands. We're the X-Men. Professor Xavier, I'd like you to meet Allison Crestmere. Hello, Allison. Welcome to the Institute. How are you? A little confused, but I'm okay. That's understandable. Perhaps Jean could take you on a tour of the mansion, or would you prefer that I show you the true purpose of the Institute in the sub-basement? Why was I brought here? You were brought here for your own protection. The people who attacked you in New York City were members of the Brotherhood of Mutants. They can be extremely dangerous. So they could come after me again? Perhaps. Which is why it would be best for you to stay at the mansion. At least until we determine exactly why the Brotherhood attempted to kidnap you. Are you the leader of the X-Men? I prefer to think of myself as their mentor. I leave team leadership to Cyclops or Storm. But you brought them together, right? Yes. I started with Cyclops and several others. As time passed, I found more mutants who were capable of handling the responsibilities of being an X-Man. Who's the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is an unruly collection of mutants who consider themselves above humanity. They operate outside the law and use their abilities to further their misguided desires. But what do they want? They've labeled themselves Homo Superior and believe they will inherit the Earth. But they are far from meek. Could you take me on the sub-basement tour? Yes, indeed. You see, a majority of this facility is underground so as not to attract the attention of those who mean ill will towards mutant kind. It features state-of-the-art training equipment that helps prepare the X-Men for any challenges they may encounter. This is the War Room. From here, we keep a watchful eye on the world for any signs of trouble. This is also where the X-Men meet to formulate combat strategies. What's that holographic globe? That is the mission control computer. With it, you can examine and activate any missions that are currently available to the X-Men. I'll have to take a look at that later. Very good. Now, would you like a tour of the sub-basement, or would you prefer to explore on your own? I'd like a sub-basement tour. Feel free to inspect the rooms. I'll follow along and explain as we go. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Thank you. We're rather proud of it. From within here, I control battle situations that take place in the training room you can see through those windows. The training room has earned the dubious title of the Danger Room. But the Danger Room looks completely empty. With the aid of advanced holography, any adversary or environment can be created out of nothingness. The Danger Room can simulate battle situations from the surface of the moon to 1,000 feet below sea level. Holographs? So nothing in there is real. Make no mistake, while the enemies in the danger room may not be real, the danger certainly is, as the bruises of the X-Men can attest. What's the console over there? That is the danger room computer. What's it do? 
It is the artificial intelligence created by Beast to run the Danger Room. With it, a student can access any of the training programs available. You may use it later, should you wish. Sounds kind of scary, but fun. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way, Allison, because I would now like to officially extend you an invitation to join us here at the Institute. Your parents hoped you would stay to see if we could help you learn to control your mutant abilities. I... I don't know. This is all happening so fast. There's no rush. This is a difficult decision. So for the time being, consider yourself our guest. Feel free to enjoy anything the mansion has to offer. The hangar bay houses the X-Men's main source of transportation. We call it the X-Jet, a state-of-the-art and constantly upgraded aircraft. Wow, that's cool. Indeed. We keep the X-Jet prepped and ready to take off at a moment's notice. This is the laboratory of Hank McCoy, a gifted scientist and engineer. He was one of my first students at the Institute. Isn't he the one they call Beast? Yes, but that code name is a gross misrepresentation of the man. His mind is every bit as strong and agile as his body. It's his technical expertise that keeps the equipment down here running so smoothly. This is our medical facility. We've gone to a great deal of trouble to design equipment capable of handling the special needs of mutants. I believe that if necessary, these computers could even perform surgery without supervision. This is the brig a highly reinforced area designed to contain practically any mutant. You keep prisoners? No, no, not at all, Allison. But there are those rare occasions when we need to detain an individual before handing them over to the proper authorities. These are the transport tubes. A quick way of getting to the second floor of the mansion. But I didn't see any entrance to the tubes on the second floor. They're hidden, since the tubes are only used in emergencies. What in the world? This is Cerebro a machine designed to locate mutants anywhere on the planet. Is this how you found me? Precisely. We were able to pinpoint you when your mutant abilities began to manifest themselves several days ago. This machine must be really powerful. It is indeed. While wearing that headset, a telepath can feel the heartbeat of almost every sentient being on Earth. It could, potentially, overwhelm an untrained mind, though. Whoa. Yes. And in addition, Cerebro keeps detailed files on all known mutants.
Yes, Allison. What can I do for you? I'm done with the sub-basement tour. I'm sorry, miss. My sincerest apologies if I frightened you. Are you... Hank McCoy? Yes, indeed. Although my codename is Beast, for obvious reasons, I didn't always look like this. My animalistic appearance is due to a further genetic mutation. Aren't you Alison Crestmere? The young lady they aided in New York today? Yeah. I'm sure everyone's heard of me. I'm the freak who can turn a mini-mall into mini-Pompeii. Allison, my dear, you are most certainly not a freak. You are a mutant, just as I am. Since you're a scientist, could you explain to me exactly what a mutant is? It would be my pleasure. You see, Mother Nature has a way of changing life forms experimenting with them to see what would better help a species to thrive in its environment. That's evolution, like what Darwin wrote about. Very good, Allison. Correct. And recently, evolution has decided to endow various humans with an X-gene, which is what gives us special abilities. So mutants are really just the next phase in human evolution, and the X-men strive to be the conscience of this new breed. It's quite exciting. The people in New York didn't think it was exciting when I started making lava burst out of the ground. I bet my friend Mandy will never talk to me again. You never know what the future may hold. In the meantime, you have new friends, Allison. A whole mansion full of mutants who know exactly what you're going through. Thanks for the talk, Beast. My pleasure, Allison. Feel free to drop by any time. Perhaps we could discuss Darwinism in greater detail. Hello, Allison. Are you finding a way around all right? Yes, I'm just exploring. So you and Cyclops are an item, huh? It was a long time coming, but yes. Eventually we managed to get together. But isn't it difficult dating someone when you're a telepath? There'd be no surprises. Oh, I would never read a person's mind unless I was given permission. But because of my powers, Scott and I have developed a permanent psychic bond. A psychic bond? Anywhere I go, I can always feel his presence, just as he can feel mine. I guess you could say we're soulmates. What's that beam that shoots out of Cyclops' eyes? It's called an optic blast, and it's powerful enough to punch a hole through carbon steel. Where does the energy come from? Scott's body absorbs solar energy and converts it into power for the beam. Why does Cyclops always wear those glasses? As a child, Scott was in an accident that damaged his ability to control his optic energy. As a result, his optic beam is constantly active. The only way he can shut it off is to close his eyes. So his power's kind of stuck in permanent on mode. Yes. Fortunately, Professor X created a visor with ruby quartz lenses that block the beam. That way Scott can open his eyes without destroying everything in sight. But, regrettably, I'll never get to see his eyes because of it. I should be going now. Anytime you feel the need for a little girl talk, just let me know.
slow, my friends. Oh, I'm not an X-Man. I'm just looking around the war room. Professor Xavier said it was okay. I saw this flashing button marked Muir Island, so I pushed it. Are you having trouble there? Yes, the Brotherhood stormed through here. Oh my gosh! Were you hurt? Me? I'm fine. Who are you? My name's Forge. I bet you've got some kind of mutant power, don't you? I have the ability to build any type of machine. What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. What was the Brotherhood doing on Muir Island? They broke into my workshop and tore the place apart in search of a particular piece of equipment. What did they want? They took some experimental equipment that masks mutant DNA from scanning devices. Why would they want that? Hmm. I'm not sure. But while wearing the masking device, even Cerebro would not be able to detect them. Talk to you later, Forge. Anytime. Why, you must be Allison Kressmere. You're even prettier than Jean said you were. And you are? My name is Aurora Monroe, but here at the X-Mansion, I'm usually referred to as Storm. Where are you from? I'm originally from Kenya, Africa, but Professor Xavier asked me to join him here at the mansion. You're a mutant? I'm a teacher and a gardener. And yes, I'm also a mutant. I have the ability to control the weather. No way! I can make it rain, sleet, or snow. Even lightning. I can also control the wind, which allows me to fly. Professor Xavier told me about the danger room. What's it like in there? Stressful and exhilarating. You can never be sure what the professor or beast is going to throw at you. Aren't you afraid of being hurt? No. There are safety locks to protect us from serious harm. But the danger room does have a habit of leaving you with a few aches and pains. I'll see you later. I hope to see you soon, Allison. Hey, y'all. Aren't you the new girl? Wow, cool costume. You've got to be an X-Man. 
That's right, hun. My name's Rogue. And you're a mutant. Yup. My power lets me absorb all kinds of things through skin contact. Other mutant powers, memories, even someone's life force if I'm not careful. But it only lasts for a short time and then I return to normal. Or <laughs> at least as normal as I can be. Where'd you get that accent? Come on now, sugar. Y'all don't mean to tell me a yank like you has never met someone from the South? I was in New Jersey once. <laughs> well, honey, I grew up in a little town along the bank of the Mississippi River. I'm as southern as mint juleps and magnolia trees. You're lucky. At least you've got a mutant power that's easy to hide. Oh, it's not that easy, Allison. I can never touch someone without taking something from them. Oh, I never thought of that. Once, I bumped into Nightcrawler and I was blue for a week. Night who? Never you mind, sweetheart. You'll know him when you see him. Talk to you later. Don't be a stranger, y'all. Wow, the scenery around here just improved 100%. Jean said you were cute, but that was the understatement of the century. You must be Bobby Drake. Hey, it's nice to see my name's gotten around. Did the other girls tell you what a cool dude I am? No, but Jean Grey warned me to keep an eye on you. Oh, well, don't believe everything Jean says. She still hasn't forgiven me for that little incident in the changing room. Man. You enter one room without knocking, and you're branded for life. I've heard you have the mutant power to freeze anything instantly. Yep. I can drop my body temperature in the air around me to sub-zero temperatures. It lets me cover my body in a protective shield of ice that even bullets can't get through. Pretty wicked, huh? Yeah, I'll say. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. It's always nice to meet a new student, especially one as pretty as you. Thanks, Bobby. But I'm not sure I want to be a student. Aw, oh, come on. It's a lot of fun. Plus, you learn how to use your powers. I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. You get used to having mutant powers. After a while. Eventually, you'll even get to like them. I hope to see you soon, Bobby. Oh, you can count on that, Allison. Attention, X-Men. Meet me in the war room immediately.
With the aid of Cerebro, I've learned the Brotherhood is en route to Alaska. It appears their destination is the facility for the high-frequency active auroral research program, also known simply as HARP. What would the Brotherhood want at HARP? All that facility does is study the ionosphere. That, Cyclops, is what you must discover. The Brotherhood has become extremely active since their attack on Allison, which can only mean something sinister is in the offing. And whatever their plan, we must thwart it before they can set back the cause of human-mutant relations. The Harp facility, eh? This will be an excellent opportunity to test the new cloaking device I've installed on the X-Jet. It should render us completely undetectable to radar. Excellent, Beast. You have your mission, X-Men. Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs> 